Welcome back to our channel. The first beta of the new Oni UI 6 update based on Android 14 is here, and this brings a lot of new features, some major changes. Let's not waste any more time. Let me show you the best Oni UI features in action. So, this is Oni UI 6, and the first thing you will notice here is the new widgets. So, there's a couple of new weather widgets. The Weather Insights widget shows you the temperature along with more details like chance of rain or thunderstorms. There is also this dynamic widget, which also has this cool new animation, which changes according to the weather, obviously. This is cool, but the more useful new widget here is the Custom Camera widget. This lets you open up a specific camera mode directly from the home screen. I can set it to open the rear or the front camera, and I can choose from different modes, be it portrait, video, pro mode, you get the idea. And this is what the widget looks like, and it works perfectly. I also like that the Smart Suggestions widget is now more customizable, and you can even exclude apps from this widget right here. One UI 6 brings a number of visual changes. The biggest one is obviously the new Quick Settings. This is what the new Quick Settings looks like compared to Quick Settings on One UI 5. Now, I am not a fan of Oni UI losing its one-handed UI design here, which made it so good, but yeah. Oni UI 6 makes things cleaner. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are separated, and I like that tapping on the icon turns them off, and tapping on the text expands the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth settings right here. Anyway, the display controls are also separated at the bottom, be it brightness, the eye comfort mode, or dark mode. The edit page has also changed, and there's one handy option here. I am talking about Quick Settings Instant Access. This can be turned on, and now, when I swipe from the top right corner, it directly opens up the Quick Settings page, similar to iOS and NIUI. Another change I notice here is that when you turn on the airplane mode, and then turn on, say, Bluetooth, only US 6 remembers it. So, when I turn on airplane mode the next time, it will keep Bluetooth turned on. Really cool. Anyway, the media player in the notification shade also has this cool waves animation when the music is playing. The settings app has a few tweaks. And the battery page is now a dedicated page in the settings. And it too has a new graph and some options have been rearranged. One UI 6 also brings updated emojis, although I have never been a fan of Samsung emojis. Moving on, One UI has always had a very customizable lock screen, and One UI 6 is obviously making things better. See, in One UI 5, you could resize the clock, but there was no way to move around the clock. In One UI 6, you can resize the clock, and you can move it around like this and set it wherever you want. That's not all. One UI 6 also brings some big camera changes and new features. First of all, the camera UI has changed for the better. You now get an option right here to choose from 12 MP or 50 MP or 200 MP. There's also a new icon for super steady mode, and I like this new video resolution UI a lot more. This is cleaner and easier to use. Now, coming to the new features, there's an advanced intelligence options page, which lets you choose between three picture quality options. Maximum is obviously for the best picture quality with a little shutter lag. Minimum is if you want to take shots quickly without any shutter lag, but you can compromise on the quality. Medium is kind of the best of both worlds. Honestly, there is quite a difference in speed in the maximum and minimum quality options. There is also the auto FPS option which now has more options, and the watermark style has now more customization in terms of date and time styles. The Oni UI 6 Gallery app is also better. It now has this info icon when you open a photo or video, and this shows you all the details along with a few edit suggestions right here. As you can see, there's Remaster, Portrait Effect, and Object Eraser, and I can hit Remaster and it starts. That's it. I can now see the before and after. Zoom in for better comparison. The editing UI has also changed. It has the most useful features in the first button itself instead in a three-dot menu button. It also has an undo and redo button right here, which is very useful. You can now copy edits from one photo and apply to another photo like this. Nice. One UI 6 also brings a couple of new, very useful privacy features. So, number one is auto blocker, 
which is turned off by default, but you can turn it on and it will make sure to block apps from unauthorized sources. It will run security checks in the apps in your phone and it will block commands via ADB. This will also block images and messages that might be malicious and block software updates via USB. This I think is very useful, especially for people who are not very tech savvy and manage to install apps with those full screen ads. So yeah, kudos to Samsung for this, that's not all. So Smart Select is one of the most underrated features in Oni UI and with Oni UI 6. When you are using it to capture a partial screenshot, it shows you the aspect ratio so you can take a screenshot in 16 to 9 or 4 to 3, whatever. It even shows you a magnifier so that you can capture the edges perfectly. This is very cool. So, which is your favorite new Oni UI 6 feature? And which is that one feature that One UI is still missing? Comment below. Thanks for watching.